Good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to read the book of the month, and this month's book is The Many Colors of Harpreet Singh. Okay. Harpreet Singh loved his colors. Bright, muted pastel, or neon, he had one for every occasion. He wore yellow when he felt sunny, spreading cheer everywhere he went. He wore pink when he felt like celebrating, bopping along with Bahangra beats. And he wore red when he needed an extra boost of courage. Harpreet took great care of his colorful paktas. He made sure they were clean and soft, smoothing each one out gently before putting it on. One day, Harpreet's mom announced that she found a new job in a snowy town across the country. It'll be fun, his mom said. It'll be an adventure, said his dad. It won't be the same, said Harpreet. Saying goodbye took a lot of courage. Harpreet also had colors for not so happy occasions. He wore blue when he felt nervous, his heart thumping in his chest. He wore gray when he was sad, like a cloud about to rain. And he wore white when he felt shy, not wanting to be seen. Lately, at his new school, Harpreet had been wearing white an awful lot. He wore it on a field trip. He wore it for a class party. Do you want to wear red, his mom asked. No reason to be brave, Harpreet said. How about pink, he asked his dad. What's there to celebrate, said Harpreet. Maybe all you need, said his mom, is a little sunshine. Harpreet shook his head and sighed. Look outside, no birds, no blooms, no beach, just cold. The next day, Harpreet went to school in white, feeling gloomier than ever before. It seemed like everything in this town was frowning along with him, even the snow. But it wasn't a frown at all. It was a smile. And Harpreet knew who it belonged to. I like your hat, said Harpreet. I like your hat, said the girl. Mine's not a hat, actually. It's called a paktka, said Harpreet. Mine's itchy, said the girl. Harpreet laughed. I'm Harpreet, he said. The girl extended a mitten. I'm Abby. The next day, Harpreet was sure to wear red. For a class party a week later, he tried pink. It wasn't long before he had his yellow packed out of his drawer. He made sure it was clean and soft, smoothing the wrinkles out gently before putting it on. Soon, the trees had buds and the outdoors were filled with the sounds of chirping birds. All that's missing is the beach, said Harpreet's mom. She turned to Harpreet. So what colors are you wearing tomorrow? Harpreet thought for a moment, maybe white, he said and smiled. It reminds me of snow. Yes, Harpreet Singh loved his colors. He had one for every occasion, even for just hanging out with a friend. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I did. The Many Colors of Harpreet Singh. I know that sometimes when I'm feeling a little down, I'll wear something bright and exciting, and I will, my mood will immediately change. Or I'll go and see some flowers, or look at some art, because color has the power to definitely change your mood. Have a wonderful day, everybody.